Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to HTML and CSS Series 1 Lesson 10 and in this video we're going to start styling the main content. Alright then gang, so as you can see we're exactly where we left off in the last lesson. We've styled this header and the banner. Now I want to start on this main content right here. So we've got three sections remember. We've got that top section which is all this bit in here. Then we've got the middle section where we've got this uh, image in the quote. And then we've got the bottom kind of footer area. So we're just going to concentrate on these top two in this video. So the first thing I want to do is style each of these sections because if you remember from the HTML in the main content here, each of these three uh, sections is within a section tag. And what I want to do is just give each of those sections a little bit of margin. So let's start with that. We'll just write our section tag like this. That's our selector, because they're the only three sections on the page, right? And then we'll give each one a margin of 40 pixels at the top zero right and left and then 60 pixels at the bottom so now we get that gap there at the top and then 60 pixels between each section as well all right cool so the next thing i want to do is style this ul right here so what i'm going to do is say section and then the section i want is points of sale so i'm going to grab the id pop it there and then style the ul within that so I want this to have a list style type of none because that will get rid of these little dots here. Cool, so the next thing I want to do is get rid of this H2 right at the top because that's not on the design. So what I'm going to do is come down here, I'm going to grab that points of sale ID again and then the H2 within that, I'm going to say height is zero. And then just to be safe, I'm going to say text indent minus 10,000 pixels, that's going to get rid of it right off the page over this way. Alright, cool. The next thing I want to do is style these LIs because each of these three points of sale is within an LI tag. You can see here, this one, this one, and then another down here. Now, I want those to float left next to each other and each one to take up about 33% of width. Okay, so they're like three equal columns. So to do that, what I need to do is first of all, grab that LI. Oops, not find we'll leave that there um, so points of sale li and then we'll float each of these to the left now we, ha we have to give them a specific width because currently they're all 100% width so they're not going to stack from left to right at the minute so we'll give each one a width of about 32% okay so now we've got that little gap left at the end but we're going to use that to pop some margin between these elements right here so they're not tight up against each other so to do that all i need to do is give this middle one a left and right margin because that's going to pop the spaces in right there yeah so let's say points of sale li then we're going to use the pseudo class nth child and then this is the second child yet yeah, because this is the first second third so we want to get the second one and then we want to say this is going to have a margin of zero top and bottom and then to the left and right two percent oops two percent and that's because it adds up yeah the width of each element is 32 percent so times that by three we've got 96 percent which means there's four percent left out of the hundred so we can afford to give it a percent of two to the left and two to the right which adds up to four yeah so the whole thing is now 100 percent all right then so let's give us some space down here and we'll start styling this text. What I want to do is say points of sale li h3. That's these titles right here. I'm going to style those first of all. First thing I'm going to do is say text align center. Bring them into the middle. Uh, next thing, I'll give them a color of like a, a kind of like a light or mid-tone grey, which is going to be about 888. It might not be exactly the same on the design, uh, but that doesn't matter to me at the minute. Uh, the next thing I want to do is give it a font size of about 24 pixels, uh, font weight normal, because by default browser styles give H1s, H2s, H3s, etc. a font weight of bold, so we're just taking that off. Um, then we'll give it a margin at the bottom 
of around 10 pixels, just so there's a little space in between this and the P tags. All right, so let's style the P tags next. So we'll come down here, and again, we'll say points of sale, P this time. And what we wanna do is align this in the center as well. So text align is center. We'll say the width is 80% because in the design it doesn't go all the way across, it kind of goes slightly less than the width of this image. So we'll say width 80%, but now that kind of veers it off to the left. We want it central. So to do that, we'll say we'll give it a margin of zero, top and bottom, and then 10% left and right, because 10 plus 10 plus 80 is 100, yeah? So same again, we're using the full 100% here. All right, next I want to say we'll give it a font size of about 14 pixels and then a color again of 888 and then finally I'm going to give it a line height of about 1.4 m's that's just going to space it out a little bit vertically like that all right then so that is the top section done but as you can see now, this second section has scooted right up to the top. And that's because this section has collapsed. We've used floats within it. And like we saw in the header, when we use floats within a section, that section can collapse. And I don't mean the section uh, tag. I just mean any kind of container. If we use floats within that container, then the container will collapse. So if I find points of sale, uh, let's just do this. You can see now the top one here has collapsed, it's literally got a height of zero. So we saw how to escape that in one of the tutorials where we did the header. I'm gonna do the same trick for this right here. So what we need to do is get the section, and I'm gonna do the same for each section, not just this one, but each one, all right? Because we're gonna have floats in each different section. So what I'll say is section pseudo class after, and then I'm gonna say content is gonna be just pretty much nothing just giving it some empty content. We're gonna display this as block, and then it's gonna clear both. And then pay attention to this right here, guys, because it's gonna scoot down a little bit in a second. There, you see that? Now we've got that margin back, right? And if I hover over the sections again, you can see this has got its height back. All right, cool. So let's move on to this second section. And what we need to do is this title, this was like a green box, and we need to float this to the left and this to the right. So not much to do here. The section is called clients, I think. Well, let's scoot down here and have a look. Yep, ID clients. So let's grab that, I'm gonna copy, and then I'm gonna paste down here, clients. And I'm gonna give this a border top of one pixel, solid, and color of CCC, which is like a light gray. You can't see it at the minute because we've got this blue border over it, but if I come away from this selector, now you can see it, all right? Um, I'm also gonna give it a padding top of about 30 pixels, just to bring the content away from the border a little bit. So now you can see that little space there. All right, so next thing I wanna do is style this H2. And if you remember from the designs, it had like a green box around it, and it was in the middle of this line right here. So, We'll say clients H2. And the first thing I want to do is give it a background color of green. Um, then the text color was white. So that's FFF. Uh, padding, we'll say about eight pixels. Just give it a bit of spacing around that text. Um, text align, we want it central, so center. And the width is going to be about 250 pixels. All right, text transform to uppercase. And we'll say it's gonna have a position of relative. Now what I'm doing here is giving it a relative position. So what I can do is now move this H2 relative to its initial position. So if I say um, top minus 20 pixels, it's gonna use its initial position as a reference point and go up 20 pixels, all right? So what I can do now is say top, I'll say about minus 40 pixels. That's not quite high enough, so I'll say about minus 45. That's about right, yeah, in the middle of that line. All right, so we wanna scoot it over to the left as well, right in the middle. But to do that, we don't wanna use an exact pixel because it might change depending on how wide the screen is. So what I'm gonna do is give it a 
margin property of zero top and bottom and then auto for the left and right and that's going to move it into the middle all right because when we have an element with a specific width and a positional property of relative and then we give it a margin of auto to the left and right that automatically gives the left and right margin um, an equal amount so that it kind of positions it centrally yeah all right so the next thing i want to do is give it a border and the border is going to be white and it's going to be around here and here just so it appears that the line doesn't go right up to the h2 so we'll say border left we'll say about 16 pixels solid and fff which is white and then to the right as well border right 16 pixels solid fff all right so now if I go away from this selector, you can see here, we've got those little spaces right there. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, so let's just style these things up right here. Give us some room at the bottom. And I'm gonna go after this image first of all. So it's client's image. We're gonna float that to the left. And it's gonna have a width of about 30% we'll give it. All right. Now we'll style this quote right here. So clients block quote. That's the tag name right here. We're going to float this one to the right. Like that. We need to give it a width. I'm going to say about 66 pixels. So not quite 70 because I want there to be a little gap in between here. Um, then I'm going to give it a margin top of around 20 pixels just to bring it down a little bit. Um, text align center. And the font style is italic. Then we're gonna give it a slightly larger line height just to space it out a little bit. Uh, we'll say line height is about 1.6 M, something like that, that will do. Uh, the color is going to be that gray color which is 888 oops not 777 888 um, and we'll give it a padding top of about 50 pixels and this padding right here is so we can insert that background image of the quotation mark right so that's what we're going to do now we'll give it a background url and it's in the images folder forward slash quote, yeah, it's found it, right there, then it's gonna be no repeat, we don't want it to repeat over and over, and top left position, which it was automatically, but I just like to kind of uh, put it in explicitly, just in case any other styles might override it, who knows. All right then, so that is, my friends, the two top sections completely done, all right? Next lesson, we're going to move on to this final bit here, which is more like the footer. And then it's job done, guys. I'll see you in that one.